Some people are saying this is the best Air Jordan 1 of the year, but it's a women's drop. Are we actually even going to be able to get these in bigger men's sizes? So in today's video, we're going to be going over the Satin Bread Air Jordan 1 set to release in a couple of weeks, and I cannot wait to break down this shoe. And oh yeah, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So everybody knows the banned Air Jordan 1s back from 1985. They used that for the commercial, even though it was the airship, I get it, understand all those different parts. But at the end of the day, the bread Air Jordan 1 has been iconic. We have seen multiple colorways and iterations over the years, and we saw the satin breads actually release a few years back, but it was a men's release and it was a very limited amount. And now currently we have a women's release coming out hitting the streets, and I cannot wait to show you guys these. So let's go ahead and take it to the studio so you guys can see all the details. So starting with the box right here, you got your classic OG style Air Jordan 1 box, but it with a twist. Now we know on the women's releases, they've done this in the past. They do the red with the black compared to the black with the red. So you got that right here on the liftoff lid. And then on the size tag, it reads Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black University Red White. And man, I'm hoping they come out with these in my size. We'll get into that a little bit later. Now lifted off the lid of the box right here, you have a little tote bag that comes along with them. It's an all black tote and then you have a red jump man right here on the side of the bag. Nothing on the back side. You got the two straps right here. And then peeling back the paper, you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So initial first impressions when I saw these, I just knew for a fact I had to have these in my life. This is an amazing sneaker because it's a classic. It's a bread one and it's hard to mess up when it comes to something like this. Now I know we typically we see leather on the upper, but with this satin on the upper to see this come out again with a wider release and giving people a chance i'm excited for this shoe and again i really hope they make these in my size so you know how we do it on this channel we're gonna start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up and go over all the styles cuts and materials and all the little intricate details of the shoe and we're gonna be comparing them to the previous retro the royal air jordan one with the satin colorway and show you guys the differences between the cut and how the shoes are made so looking at the bottom right here you got your classic air jordan one bottom all red right here and going up to the midsole all white with the white stitch and then to the upper we have this thing loaded with satin and embroidery all throughout you got red on the front end on the toe black right there around it in the front end and then you have your black on the side panels and your red on the back end with the red swoosh classic to your bread air jordan one so now when it comes to some of the details on this shoe you have a thicker embroidery here right here around the swoosh going on the red satin area and then instead of a stamp or an embossment like we typically see when it comes to the wings logo on the jordan ones you actually have the Air Jordan Wings logo and black stitch right here on the side of the foot on both shoes, giving you that nice premium element to the shoe as well. Another dope aspect to this sneaker that I really, really like, I can't tell if it's metal or plastic. On the inside of the foot, it looks like it's metal right here. Yeah, so you have a black and it's like kind of a matte black finish right here. Metal right here on all the eye holes going along the side of the foot. So that's definitely gonna give you a nicer premium look. And that's actually more similar to the previous retro that we saw in the past as well. Now the tongue comes with a black satin material and a black patch with the red Nike Air on the top of that. And then going to the sock liner right here, you have satin all throughout as well. It looks like the same material, but kinda a little bit different. Like it's a little bit more fine right here on the inside when it comes to the sock liner compared to the outside of the shoe. Now these come standard with a pair of all black laces and an additional pair Pair of red laces right here and there's silver tips with the jump mans right here on the black laces and let's see what comes on the red laces I'm pretty yes yeah, the same thing right here silver tip uh, with the jump man on the red laces they got the move to zero packaging and then on the insole right here you have all red with the black Nike Air so overall just looking at the shoe you can tell everything's pretty straightforward I think some of the things that people are worried about is the stains and then also the creasing I have the Alele May Air Jordan ones and I did get them a little bit dirty on the toe and I was scared because it, it was that silver toe and I was like I don't know what's gonna happen but I was able to clean Clean it and you got to be gentle as well because of the materials when you try to clean it so I can understand why people may be shying away from this sneaker but at the same time it's still a really dope shoe but one thing that I'm also kind of leery about is how it looks on foot because the way the toe is shaped on this shoe is a lot different compared to the previous retro that we saw in the past 
So let's go ahead and put them side by side so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So if you look at these two shoes side by side, you can tell on the royal pair, the black area around the front end of the toe, it's a lot lower cut and it's not as, uh, I would say, rounded on the front end and it doesn't feel like it's uh, as bulky around the toe area of the shoe. Now when you look at this pair on the bread colorway, you can tell there's definitely a difference on how high the cut is on the black material and it kind of gives it a little bit bulkier of a feel. I've seen some on foot shots on the internet and it does look kind of weird at a certain angle depending on how you shoot the shoe. So maybe for that reason, it might cause people not to like it when they put the shoe on and they see that toe down look. But again, it might vary depending on the foot shape and you know what size shoe you are and so many other variables as well. Now looking at the rest of the shoe, you got that similar vibe when it comes to the wings logo, all black stitch right here, same thing over there. The swooshes, very, very similar as well. And then when you put these two shoes side by side, you can see they definitely do look really similar. When it comes to the overall design and configuration of these two shoes, sometimes when they do like a previous release that's more limited and they bring it back later, they decide to switch things up a lot. But for the most part, these do look really, really similar uh, for the overall grand scheme of things. You know, the eye holes right here, same thing. You got the metal right there with the matte black. Now these ones have more of a premium insole on them with that leather. This is a sample version as well. So I don't remember what the actual other version was and then it has the stitching on the inside. But either way, it's a good example just to show you guys how these are also very similar to the previous releases, but in a women's colorway. Now one thing that I think is a little bit different as well is if you look at the sock liner and the ankle area, the padding, it's just a lot thicker uh, around the ankle area on the new release that's set to come out. And you got more of a slim fit around the collar and the ankle area right here on the previous release from the past. So overall, at the end of the day, I definitely think this sneaker is a cop. And shout out to Untied for letting me use these to give you guys a review. If you guys haven't seen their previous video I uploaded a couple days ago, we went through and found a bunch of different sneakers that they just got in the store and they had a bunch of crazy grills. And I low key picked up a couple shoes from there. So <laughs> stay tuned for that video as well. But either way, I think this is definitely a cop and I'm excited to try to get these for my collection if they make them in extended sizes. Please let me know down below in the comment section. But for you guys, I wanna see what you guys think. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG. You can participate in the polls and see all the results here. I ask the people a simple question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? And this is what they say. 75% of the people chose fire and 25% of the people chose trash. And it completely makes sense to me. It's a bread colorway. Again, it's really hard to lose when it comes to something like this. And I can understand why people may shy away from it because of the materials, how it's hard to clean or it might snag and you don't want to mess it up. Or it may not come in your size because it's a women's release. You name it, there's a lot of different reasons why people love and don't love the shoe. But I can understand why the majority of the people definitely like this sneaker. So I'm definitely interested to hear what you guys think down below as well so drop a comment and let me know and if you guys want to see any other reviews in the future make sure you guys subscribe to this channel i got plenty more stuff to come all right y'all i'm out i would never let you down so before you go i just launched my sneakerhead academy where we got everything on the inside i teach you all the stuff that i learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers scaling real estate you name it we talk about all of it in there and there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways i give away shoes literally way too much honestly but either way i'll see you guys on the inside hit the link down down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy and I'll see you guys over there. Send my DNA, hey, the hey, only pop. choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. I would never let you down and send my DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it, it's in the DNA. <laughs>